Am I the A for spoiling my daughter by taking her on holiday? I, male 53, split up with my ex-wife, female 49, about nine years ago. We have a 17-year-old daughter from the relationship, Tilly, who we share custody of. Due to work commitments, my ex has Tilly most of the weekdays, and I have the weekends. So my ex isn't stuck entirely with the boring school days. She also gets the weeks when Tilly is on vacation. While my ex got remarried a few years ago, I never did. Although I dated here and there, a combination of work commitments and just not finding the right person meant it never clicked, and I stayed mostly single. I've worked my way up the career ladder as a result, and I have a healthy account of excess income, which I mostly put towards Tilly. I wouldn't say she's spoilt, because I still try to give her a sense of responsibility around the house by helping with chores, and don't hand out pocket money unless it's earned. However, since I have the means to do so, I do treat her with any clothes, makeup, gadgets, and the like. It's something I enjoy doing, and she shows gratitude for it. On the other hand, my ex is a stay-at-home mom, and her new husband slash Tilly's stepdad has a pretty standard job. I don't mean that disrespectfully, but the income generated in the household is average at best for a similar family type. As such, Tilly rarely gets any presents from her mom slash stepdad other than on birthdays or any other holidays. As Tilly's 18th birthday is coming up, I wanted to do something very special for her to also tie it to her leaving for college shortly. I arranged a trip to Europe for the two of us for the two weeks over the summer. So co-parenting plans had to be arranged. I phoned my ex to say this would be my plan and to sort out all the logistics. To my surprise, my ex exploded at me. She said how I was spoiling Tilly and was only doing this to spite her because she knew that any gifts she gave by comparison would be meaningless, making me the favorite parent. I told her that wasn't true and I just wanted to give my only daughter a present she'd love and memories to cherish. Nonetheless, this went on and my ex called me an a-hole over the situation, saying that I needed to scale down my present to not spoil Tilly and put us all on a level playing field. I laughed and said she was being ridiculous, but to avoid any argument, I offered to say this was a joint present from both of us if she and her husband were willing to contribute. This idea was shot down because Tilly wasn't stupid and knew it would be my present. I was done arguing at this point, so put down the phone. My ex has texted me since, labeling me an aho again and requesting I rethink. I have no intention of doing so and feel I'm in the right. Am I the A? Now for the comments. Info. If Tilly's 18th birthday is coming up, why do you need your ex's permission? Tilly will legally be an adult and can choose for herself where she wants to spend those two weeks. Legally, you're right. I feel just from a courtesy perspective, though, I wouldn't have wanted to take her away for two weeks when she's becoming an adult without her mom being on board beforehand. However, if she did try, and refuse, then she would have no right to stop me and we'd go anyway, unless for some reason Tilly didn't want to go. Not the A. She's overreacting. Building memories is super important. I think it's perfectly fine for just the two of you to build those memories with your daughter before she's grown and gone. If you could offer to send all four on the trip and she still said no, this would be very telling about your ex-wife's real concern. She should be thinking of your daughter and the amazing memories that she could experience on the possibly once-in-a-lifetime trip. Have fun. I wouldn't send all of us on a trip even if it was possible because a trip with my ex and her husband would be bizarre. I was happy for her to contribute and I would say it was a joint present and I'd have chipped in for something nice from her mom. But she wasn't happy with that idea. 
I agree with all of the not the a hoes here. I know you're trying to be courteous, and I respect that. What if you proposed to your ex that she give Tilly something that she could use on the trip? Like maybe get her a digital camera, if Tilly's interested in something like that versus using her phone. Or give her cash slash spending money for her extras. Like if she wanted to buy souvenirs for friends, or even mom. I mean, I can see why your ex feels outshone here. But her insecurity and jealousy shouldn't prevent her from giving Tilly a meaningful gift of her own, even if it's not as grand as the one you're giving her. My suggestions would be if she doesn't have an idea of her own for a milestone gift, which doesn't have to cost a lot of money, by the way, the most meaningful gifts come from the heart. Sometimes they're expensive, like the gift you've chosen to give, and sometimes they're not. Like, if your ex put together a scrapbook of Tilly's life from birth to adulthood, your ex is underestimating how important her gift is just by being from her. She's Tilly's mom, for goodness sake. No one else can be that for Tilly, but her. And her gift is meaningful just for that fact alone. Good luck, OP. I think you're a great dad and a courteous ex-husband. I hope your ex will get over her insecurity and see how important anything she gives will be to Tilly. Have a great vacation. Not the A. Your ex will look worse if Tilly finds out she could have had a trip of a lifetime, but it was canceled by a spiteful parent. Not the A. It is not spoiling to give kids nice things. It is spoiling to give kids nice things and teach them a sense of entitlement. Your daughter is old enough to know that there is an income disparity between her parents. She's not going to suddenly think poorly of her mom because you are able to give her a great gift. I would have a talk with your daughter to make sure she knows to show appreciation for her mom. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.